Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video showing you a new and updated way to color grade like Yoon Olsen and Andreas Hem. I know that I released this video about a month ago and it kind of went viral, but it also had a lot of criticism because people said that the greens weren't right and the hues in the sky were wrong. I'm just going to blame it on the computer monitor screen that I used because I didn't really notice that as much, but I really just wanted to show you that you could match their color style simply by looking at the Lumetri scopes. So hopefully you learned something. But if not, check out this video where I release the 10 free LUTs and then we can get started with this video. I just said that twice. That doesn't really make sense. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, we're going to check out some of the footage that we're going to be working with. As you can see, this is shot in slow motion and it's outside. I think being outdoors when you're filming helps sell the Unolson effect because you can use highlights to your advantage. And what I mean by that is if you watch any Unolson video and look at their Lumetri scopes, you can see that their highlights are actually clipping. And clipping is basically when you see this line at the top, which is showing that your whites over here are actually losing data because it's all just blown out and white. With that said, we're going to go to the effects tab and drag on KH LUT 3. If you don't have this LUT pack, there's a link in the description below. It's a free download, so I highly recommend it for you guys. Once you drag that on there, it kind of simulates a M31 LUT. I just tweaked the settings to make it my own. Go to the creative tab and drag the intensity down to about 70. Push the faded film up to 50 and then drag the vibrance about halfway and then the saturation about down a quarter. This is all going to be dependent on your video and your color profile. So you're going to have to change some settings manually. Next, go to the color wheels tab and we're going to drag the highlights pretty high and mess around with them here. I like pushing them almost all the way up to the top because honestly it looks really nice. I'm also going to drag my midtones up a tiny bit and then I'm also going to push the shadows down just a tiny bit. Looking at the Lumetri scopes, we can see that our highlights are pushed up the top and our shadows are around 15. So with that said, we're going to go back to basic correction and even push up the exposure just a tiny bit probably about 0.3 and then play back through this and as you can see this kind of already looks like the Unolson effect. The highlights are nice and high, it's very vibrant, but if you want you can manipulate more settings and add contrast in here to add more saturation or anything you want, but that is pretty much it. All you have to do is mess around with the highlights. Thank you guys so much for checking out this tutorial and be sure to subscribe for more.